What is going on guys and girls? Welcome back to CK2 Holy Fury and King Magnus II of Norway and England. And in between episodes, I have been able to do two cool things. First of all, I managed to, uh, well, somewhat gimmick gimmicky, uh, change the religion of Haldor. So basically what I did is, is, since he was a bastard, he created a new dynasty. He's no longer the House Hastings. He has his own dynasty and has some random name. And so I just... Well, renamed it to House Ulfeld and gave him the same sigil. And so, technically, uh, you know, this daughter is no longer like it's not the it's not a matrilinear marriage. Basically, is what I'm saying. Um, but I was able to, you know, sort of trick it into being a matrilinear marriage. And I think that works fine enough. You know, it's I mean, she is the mother. We know that it's her blood. And so, I think this is this is probably the best way. I think this is perfectly fine. So, in this, I guess, uh, situation. Haldor has taken on the coat of arms of his his woman, uh, his wife. I think that's that's okay. Now, also, I found this man, Ketil Tog Tostikson. He was a good friend's son, and he does not have any lands. His brother is the uh, y Count of Jorwick, and he's already got plenty of children of his own. So I decided, Ketil, you'll get some lands yourself, and I want to make you the Lord of... Iceland. There you go. I know he's not Norwegian, but, you know, it's because our good friend, um, and I don't really know who else to give this lands, these lands to anyway, so I feel like this is okay. Um, oh, you accepted the offer. Pope Leo won a war against the Holy Roman Emperor. Well, that's not good. Well, I mean, I guess it doesn't really matter, but what has he taken? Has he expanded his land? I don't know. Cool, interesting. I didn't even know there were a war, but yeah. We're gathering our forces right now so that we can deal with the uh, Fraticelli uprising here. This is the second one. And the uh, Duke of Mercy is already doing his best to defeat these enemies, but so far he's been, you know, just overwhelmed. So I'm going to send in my men. And we've got 5,000. I want to have... Elthwald, he's leading. We've got Duke of Kent on one flank and Duke of East Anglia on the others. So the House of Godwin is still very, very powerful in our realm. Uh, but I think that's not a bad thing, necessarily. I think we're going to first crush the smaller armies, if we can. Uh, oh no, we couldn't. Wow! Oh, you know what? I gotta be honest, I like how the AI works. Uh, I feel like the AI has gotten a lot smarter in getting their troops together and all these kinds of things. I think we're going to be waiting for your troops. It's not many, but that might be enough to crush these guys here. There's 600 men. That could make the difference, really. Uh, he does not want to join us, apparently. Maybe he does? That's 1,600 men. That that would be that would make the difference. Now, up... No, not our mother. It's just our courier. Uh, she has brought you some distressing news. She's certain that Githa is a witch. Githa Godwin's daughter. That's interesting. She's my courtier. Oh. Okay. Mm. Talking to herself in the strange... Okay, well, she is a lunatic. She does have great pox and consumption. Okay, you must be right. I'll have her imprisoned. Githa will be imprisoned for... Until it's time for judgment. All of your domain is getting revolt risk lowered. Okay. Yeah, we'll go for that. That's fine. She can be imprisoned. There's a birth of the assassins, but that's very far away and really doesn't concern us too much. After thorough investigation, Prince Bishop Sigurd has come to the conclusion that Princess Yelizaveta is most likely a witch. Oh. Um. I honestly disagree. Uh, these accusations are preposterous. She's a good, faithful servant. You dismiss the intelligence. Yeah, we'll dismiss it. Okay. Our son Bjorn is not doing too well. Call the court physician, please. Okay, can you, like... Like, join me in this? If I attack, would you join? He would. Alright, so let's let him uh, come. Okay, now we can attack. And now he should join immediately. That will make it a little bit easier. Wait, you're not coming. Uh, a county in my domain is riddled with disease. I need to send Stuart 
Harold there, he will sure you know what to do. Fine. Now you're not joining me anymore. That's so weird. Why? Okay, now they're coming. After the fight has already begun. Alright, well, I hope we can survive long enough without the reinforcements. Princess Christina has brought you some distressing news. She's certain that <laughs> her educator, our tutor, or her tutor is... Is a witch. I mean, he is left-handed. While seen with suspicion by the clergy, tend to have a considerable advantage in combat. Hmm. He has served as well. Christina. Do I listen to my... I mean, I like her a lot. I like this guy more. I think... I'm not going to listen to a 15-year-old. Yeah, that's a preposterous accusation. Now, we have unfortunately taken a river crossing here. It's going to make this difficult. But we have received reinforcements. I think we're going to turn this around. Yeah, you're already running on two... F okay, we've won. Very good. All right. And we only need to fight one battle. The rebels have already dispersed. Good. So you have to be executed as well. We're now known as the Cleansing Flame. Okay, we have apparently killed enough, burned enough heretics at the stake. Uh, that's good to know. That we are at least successful in that, in that regard. Okay, let's resign our commanders again and let's hope that no more Fraticelli will rise up. But, they have actually managed to convert a province here. So that's ter terrible. It's already terrible. Either way, I need to spend some... Some money here. Increasing the keep in the capital and Rumsdahl as well. Well, we can only build militia training grounds. That seems good enough for the moment. Okay, we can go move forward. And Sutherland now has Fraticelli heretics as well. And that's Iceland, right? Yeah, it is. Uh, well. Okay, Katil, I no longer need to have you as important character. Gunhild... Yeah, need a you. Um, Robert de Normandy. We're still allies, okay. And Dagmar. Yeah, okay, well, we kind of fixed your uh, thing. I fixed your your marriage, basically. Duke Edmund approaches us with a serious accusation. He believes Princess Ragnhild, my half-sister. Now, my marshal, I trust him. He has a lot of battlefield experience, dual experience, plus... Oh my god. Yeah, he's slain several people in battle. Only two, really. Renowned duelist. Wow, look at his personal combat skill. That's not too bad. He has got a pavilion. He's got vicious rumors about him as well. But my sister? No. I don't believe it. I think that's not correct. I don't believe my sister's a witch. Just can't believe it, really. Judgment Day has arrived. It's time to deal with those who have consorted with Satan and threatened your realm. Light the pyres. So it's just Geetha of the House Godwinson that will have to die. Let them run the dungeon. No, no, no. Light the pyres. There you go. We are known as the Cleansing Flame, so I can see that. I wonder how you feel about this. You don't actually mind. I wonder how you feel about me burning part of your family. Uh, nobody cares. It's all good. Okay, I still have that duchy that needs to be given out. And really want to do that. Just waiting for the right person. Okay. Why do I not have whole, huge lands? Count of Naumadal. No, that's not happening. So we'll just get out of there diplomatically. <laughs> it seems like the precautions you took has have paid off. There has been very little talk of witchcraft during the last weeks. And no accusations. Well, you will never know for certain if those prosecutors were to blame for the epidemic. At least everyone else seems relieved. Okay, I did what I had to do. And you have taken Lancaster. And moved your capital now as well. Good. Another peasant revolt. Oh, man, this... What's going on? Have we, like, defeated? Crushed a revolt. There should be negative four. Why, why do we still have these revolts all the time? Peasant unrest plus 10. Hmm. I don't think I have enough men. Uh, you know what? I don't want to raise these manually anymore. It's getting boring. 
Let's just um, do this. Let's see, how many men is this? This is 3,000. Okay, we'll meet up here. And you guys can stand down. You can stand down. You're just too far away. And I'll raise my, I guess, fleets as well. Get all of you on them boats. All of you that can. The rest I will probably just stand down. Yeah. You guys can just stand down. It's all good. And... I'll bring you over to Essex. Actually, Suffolk. Essex is fine. And then we'll have to stand on the rest of these ships as well. Uh, I wish these... I wish either we had a larger retinue that would be able to deal with the rebels, or that we just didn't, you know, have any more rebels rise up. Oh man, I hate that they keep doing this. Why do you move so fast? Very annoying. But yeah, okay, we got most of our troops together now. You amass your troops, please. Huge fleets. Please stand down. At least we're in a defensive uh, war, so nobody should get mad for me raising their ships and troops and all that. I kind of click on this, man. <sighs> a lot of micromanagement. I always dislike this. Rebels, very frustrating. Okay, anyway. You, you, and you lead the charge. Actually, we still have less men. It's actually kind of surprising. Is there rivers on all places? Hull, Leeds, Norfolk. Yeah, basically everywhere. It doesn't matter where we attack from. It's always a river crossing. Uh, sure. Well, whatever. We'll go for it regardless. We have better commanders. I think we might win this anyway. Yeah, okay. Very good. It's, I mean, it's just peasants, right? So there you go. Offer of the peace. And we'll have to execute you. There you go. And, yeah, I mean, I'm going to have to disband. Otherwise, my people are going to be upset again. But I will keep the commanders in there. A group of craftsmen has come to our court, shown off their work. They present you with fine goods, of which you are sure there would be a demand for in the realm. Noticing your interest, the craftsmen ask for capital. Sure. Haven't we already invested in some? Like, I've, I feel like we haven't gotten the returns from that one yet. But that's okay. So, you're able to pay the ransom. Let's do that. Hello, Galan Prospers. Always nice. I think I can imprison you again now, can't I? Yes, I can. Uh, who else? Yeah, Count Moka, you will be imprisoned again. I know it's a bit... Um, you might not find this funny. I find it very funny. So... Yeah, you're... At you're just in prison again. And until you can pay your ransom, you know, you'll be, uh, you'll, I'll keep imprisoning you. Just because, you know, we're so greedy. <laughs> and, I mean, we dragged ourselves through the mud to get rid of our excommunication. You could do that, too, if you wanted to. It's just, Mocha doesn't, doesn't feel like doing that. Okay, militia training ground has been built. And there's nothing else we can build there for now. Good. Okay, what's the interior say it doesn't look too bad uh, we have been presented with an opportunity to let everyone be reminded of our rulership mint them for glory no debase it no i'm not going to do any of this in fact maybe we should stop with the business focus maybe we should go for something else i'm not quite sure what though we could go for s theology learning temple vassal opinion health right and actually i'm going to join the dominican order as i had Wanted to do for a while now. Completely forgot about that. We have... Ah, man. Domain is... Okay, that was not good. Mm, oh, well. I'll, I'll, I'll be able to deal with it. I'll be able to handle it. Agatha Chodolf's daughter is not yet of age. She'll be soon, though.
I live my life as other men do, navigating its rocks and obstacles to my best to achieve success in my endeavors. Still, everything we do takes place in the light of the Blessed Virgin, and we must take care lest the influence of Lucifer comes into our lives. Uh, ponder this more deeply. Uh, no, I think this is just the way it is, yeah. And you've inherited something very cool, and we need a new commander, for which I will pick you. Okay, so the Countess of Lincoln could be imprisoned. Uh, I mean, why not? For the money, I might do it for the money. Uh, we'll automatically assign commanders here for now. And now Cecilia is sick with consumption. So yeah, ever since we stopped swaying, trying to sway our woman, ever, so, ever since we told her she's fat, we uh, didn't have sex anymore. I guess that's kind of... You know, coming from us, we're just not interested anymore. But yeah. Some lines formed. And our daughter needs an education. Diplomacy? I'll give her diplomacy. And assign a new guardian. Uh, actually... Yeah, Count John. There you go. You seem like a very capable guy. Alright, so we've got... Problems. Is this just my retinue? Oh, yeah. Well, that's actually cool. A thousand men retinue? Not too bad. And there he goes. He immediately died after it signed him. Okay. Died of cancer. I guess... Yeah, our court tutor will be our new chancellor. And we'll just keep on improving relations here. Okay, you can go and suppress... Rebels in Lincoln, and this woman shall be imprisoned. 61% chance. That's pretty good. Right, that was successful as well. And Gudrun, you need... I'll give you the learning focus. Sure. And we have another dangerous faction again. 72%. Duke of Iceland can be imprisoned. Oh, okay, that's just... Uh, that's no longer the case, right? Yeah. Okay, another one of our provinces prospers. It's none of our home provinces. Well, that's okay. And you're pregnant again. Wolfgar has been... Uh, he's club-footed. But your daughter is quick, so that's good. You're now pregnant again, so... At least, you know, it's the it's the right family name. That's, that's the important part. Duke Edmund tried to have me assassinate. Make sure I won't discover his plot. Oh, our marshal. Hmm. Expose him immediately. And yeah, I think you'll be imprisoned. Now, it's problematic because he's been going around imprisoning all kinds of people. And he doesn't want to end the plot. I can't have him go around trying to fabricate a claim on the uh, English throne. Let me see who else is supporting this, by the way. It's uh, our steward, the Duke of Essex. Good to know. But I can't imprison him for it. Can I have you stop backing the plot? No. End plot. No, he doesn't want to. Well, I will have you guys... I will allow you to pay your ransom first. And then... Let me see. Our marshal... Needs to be imprisoned. Now he's gonna revolt. Oh no! It worked! Alright, well, that's cool. Now, and then I guess the Prince Bishop of Oxford will be our new marshal. I mean, he's really good. So I like that. Wow, I would have not, not expected this to work. But he's got enough money to get out of prison. You know what? Fine, let's just get the ransom. We are making so much money from ransoming up our own people. It's kind of hilarious, actually. Okay, Morka could be imprisoned again. Let's, uh... Let's keep on doing that, actually. This is a really great way of making money. So you have, uh... Paid to get out of prison. And this should be a better chance now. 48% chance. Okay, so he's now risen up, but we already have our army parked here. 
so I'm not too concerned. We actually have just one more person here than we need to siege. Okay, so I maybe have to raise some men who are Jason here. Just as reinforcements. That's actually kind of funny. But yeah, so now we should be fine. With all of these men. <sighs> For too long, you've restricted the political influence of your vassals. Time has come to give the council more power. Submit to this demand peacefully and face the consequences. So, I think this is something I will have to give in to. I'm not going to be... Yeah. Now, the question is, what exactly will they be able to do? Right? So, right now... The council decides on imprisonment and war declaration. Now they can also decide on granting and revoking titles. That's bad. It's really bad, but alright. There are many mysteries in the Catholic faith. I might be interesting to spend some time delving into the old text of the Bible. Sure. Let's read, read the Bible. Still haven't been able to conquer anything outside because we still have the interior problems that we need to deal with first. And there are the assassins that have already fallen. Wow, that was that was very quick. And that's actually very, very depressing. Okay, Westminster has fallen. And we could become friends with a cardinal. Hmm. Why not? He seems like an interesting person. I wonder if he could become the new Pope. Prince Bishop Sigo de Sea Devil. So where is this Cardinal Fiorelli? By the way, I love that they now actually have like Cardinal pictures. Oh, he seems to be... Oh, he's the Praferatus. Our friend is going to be the next Pope. Well, that's glorious. That's... That's amazing. That, that would be so good. That's going to be so helpful as well. He's a fellow member of the Dominican Order. Awesome. Alright, I love that, actually. I love that. Okay, either way, that was it for today. I will see you next time. Today's video was brought to you by my glorious supporters over at Patreon. And right now, I just want to thank you all so much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed. And before you leave, I'd love to have you subscribed so you can stay updated on all the new releases.